best inventory management software hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you some of the best inventory management softwares out there so having said that let's just jump into the video now we're going to be taking a look at some of the softwares now i'm not going to be showing you how you can use them because they're all very similar and i'm pretty sure you already know how to use them if you're already here searching for a video like this so now you just want to make sure that the software that you have is one of the best ones out there so we're going to be comparing their pricing and some of the features that they offer and we're going to also be comparing how easy it is to sign up so let's get into it so first up we have zoho right this is zoho let's go ahead and sign up for free it says right here sign up for free but there is a pricing plan which we will get into in a sec so let's go ahead and see how quickly we can sign in so we're going to click on that button and here we just fill out this form or what we can do is sign in with google let's go ahead and select that button click on continue and then just simply click on create account wait for a couple of seconds and now we just simply go in and fill out this form and this is going to be our organization name industry and the currency and time zone and there we go we are in the zoho inventory software and now all we have to do is fill out some forms and we are good to go so it literally took us a couple of minutes and this is the pricing plan of zoho so right here you can see it starts at 29 dollars per organization per month and then it goes up to $249 per organization per month. In the standard one, you get 500 orders per month, two users, and one warehouse. You get to composite items, drop shipment, backdooring, item grouping, and customer portal as well. Whereas if you go with the professional one, which is going to be $79, per organization per month you're going to get 3000 orders per month two users and two warehouse so in terms of orders it's actually a pretty big jump it's almost it's not even double or triple it's almost quadruple and in the bottom you get everything plus you get serial number tracking batch tracking and vendor portal as well which i think is pretty cool so uh this one might just be the good one but you know it depends on how much orders you get and then we have the premium one, which is, I believe, the most popular one. In it, it's going to cost you $130 per organization per month. You get 75,000 orders, which is almost double the previous ones, two users and three warehouses, and 2,000 bins per warehouse, which I think is pretty cool, right? You get 2,000 bins plus in the warehouses, which you don't get in the previous one, but I don't know if it's important or not, but depends on you, as I said before. And you get everything in the previous two plans, but you also get contextual chat, UOM conversion, automation, and barcode generation and stock counting as well. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool deal. $29, you get almost everything, but I would say this is a much better plan, the professional one. And of course, which I think is the most popular one, which is the best one. But if you want bins and more warehouses, then of course you should go with the premium one. But as of right now, this I think makes much more sense because you not only do you get, you know, customer portal, you also get vendor portal, you get batch tracking and serial number tracking. And you also get everything in the previous one. Plus 3000 orders is a lot of orders compared to 500. So now that you know about Zoho, let's move on to the next one, which is Square Inventory. Now, Square inventory is part of Square Up or Squarespace. And over here, let's go ahead and see how quickly we can use Squarespace or Square inventory. So we're going to quickly get started over here. Click on the button and see how quickly we can sign up. And we don't have any, you know, sign up options for, you know, signing up with Google. So I'm just simply going to type in my email. And here we go. So I already had an account on Square Inventory and I used it before. So over here on the left hand side, you can see you have all these options, right? You have items and orders, reporting, marketing, loyalty, transaction orders and items. And here in the item section, you have item library, channel, modifier, discount options and many, many more. Here is where you will be able to store your inventory items, right? Here you can manage them as well. You have customer directory where you can see all the customers that you have you know that you have on your store or whatever you have items in stores and many many more so in terms of usability squarespace is actually pretty simple uh you can see right here you've got payments you've got items over here customers and everything and you can set up different categories and different stuff as well so it's an all-in-one payment processing software as well as well as a inventory software so it's pretty cool now in terms of pricing you can see that it is free all right and you get a bunch of different you know features within the free plan which i will show you later but then we have the plus plan right here which is going to be 29 dollars per month maybe more depending upon taxes and processing fees and then we have premium 
So if we click on the premium, we can see down below, these are all the plans that we see over here. So we have restaurants, retail and appointments, and they give you a bunch of different options as well. Right here, you can see they have their own payment processing as well. They have their own hardware solution as well, which I think is pretty cool, but it depends on you whether or not you require it. You get to have advanced POS features, Square KDS, Square Kios. So basically, you get all of the Squarespace products in there. And the huge difference is going to be in the processing fees over here. As you can see, we have different fees for different, you know, payment process. So if it's an in-person payment, it's going to be 2.6% plus 10 cents per transaction. Online is going to be 2.9 plus 30 cents per transaction. And then manually is going to be 3.5 plus 15. And then invoice is going to be 3.3 plus 30 per transaction. And if you click on expand all tools, these are all the tools that you get when you buy a one of these plans so right here you can even get individual plans as well so keep that in mind so it depends on you it's an all-in-one service i do believe it's a pretty cool service and pricing wise it's actually a little bit cheaper but there are other stuff that it offers as well so if you go ahead and add those stuff you know it depends on you so it's pretty cool although i would say zoho is a much better option you know, comparing the inventory wise, because, you know, it's a proper inventory software where Squarespace is a process payment processing software that has inventory built in it. So it depends on you. Moving on, we have Odo inventory app, and it is a pretty simple app right here. So let's go ahead and click on start now. It's free. However, there is a pricing plan. So let's go ahead and sign up. So sign up again, first name, last name, email, company, and all of that. So I'm going to fill that out. And it's as simple as that. We are now logged in. It's going to take us a couple of minutes to load everything up and we should be good to go. And here we are. All right. So here we go. Uh, now, since we do want inventory, we'll just simply click on the inventory software. And this is it. Pretty simple. Fill the form, click the button and we are in. So in terms of usability and how quickly we can sign up, it's actually pretty simple. Everything's laid out perfectly. Over here, you have orders. Over here, you have receipts. And over here, you have product reporting overview. If you click on overview, this is the overview. And of course, this is the dashboard over here. So everything's pretty simple. Everything has their own application. So yeah, UI looks pretty simple as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at the pricing. So this is the pricing of auto inventory so over here as you can see you have a bunch of different options and it's going to start at 390 dollars per year as you can see over here depending upon what you choose and then you have the other one which is going to be the official partner it's going to cost you almost two thousand dollars keep that in mind but they have their both pros and cons and down below you can see it right here so auto enterprise commissions over here so it depends on you what you want to do with it but yeah this is a little bit expensive i would say you get a much better deal when compared to zoho although in terms of software wise this does look a little bit better than zoho but i don't know if it's worth the extra couple of hundred bucks but again depends on you and lastly we have bitrix 24 now bitrix 24 is an all-in-one software so you've got crms task and project management sites and stores and HR automations, even at collaborations and other CRM tools as well. Now, in terms of pricing wise, we're going to discuss that in a second. I just want to show you some of the products that they have. So you can see they have a bunch of different products and each product will have its own pricing as well. So it's not going to be, you know, you pay a couple of bucks and you get everything. So keep that in mind. In terms of pricing wise, Bitrix is a little bit different. So as you can see right here, the basic one is going to be $49 per organization per month, which is going to be annually. Then we have the standard, which is almost $100. Then we have the professional, which is almost $200. And then we have enterprise, which is going to be $400. And down below, you can see all the pricing. So we have collaborations, tasks and projects, CRM, Bitrix 24 sign, drive, contact center, and website builder and online store. So they basically give you all all the things so i was mistaken at first i thought they would give you individual plans for individual features but actually they give you a little bit of everything so you get 24 gigabytes of storage and five users in the basic one and you get almost all of the softwares except for marketing and online documentations which you can find over here in the standard one which is going to cost you a hundred dollars and it will give you 100 gigabytes 50 users and you can see right here this pill this will indicate a level of authority within each of these features so keep that in mind. So you get level two authority on all of them within the standard one and level one and two in some of them. So you get level one in drive and level one in task and project, but you get level two in all of the rest. 
And then we have the professional one, which is going to be $200. And in it, you get almost one terabyte of storage, 100 users, and you get all these cool options as well. But I don't know if you will ever need them, but it depends on you. So yeah, in my opinion, Zoho inventory is the better option and then followed by Squarespace. But you know, it depends on you. So let me know in the comment section which inventory software you are going to be using. And having said that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.